What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So it has been a month since Ken Roxon said this on James Stewart's podcast show. Which was a shocker to me. Honda decided to pull the offer that they gave me, um, you know, a week or a couple of weeks ago, which by the way was a great offer. I mean, it's kind of crazy to think how fast things happen. It's already been a month and there's already been two races down. Ken Roxon walking away from factory Honda HRC, a supercross only deal for the upcoming 2023 season is, is pretty a uh, big move to do. After watching Ken Roxon race the World Supercross Championship and not go the way he wanted it to, I'm sure he wanted to win that and kind of grow the sport more and it to be a better overall production. I think he was disappointed with his result and Red Bull straight with him also this weekend. You could tell when they interviewed him after he lost to Marvin Muskan that he wasn't too happy and I almost got the sense that he was starting to second guess whether or not walking away from a factory Honda HRC was a good idea or not. Factory Honda has already filled that spot for the 2023 Supercross season. So it's crazy how fast things happen, but this was only a month ago. Now I'm trying to think, in hindsight, was it worth it? Was it worth walking away from a factory Honda contract, a Supercross only deal? Yes, I think it's very cool and I respect his decisions, but at the same time, I'm wondering, man, you know, you kind of went and did these subpar events, no disrespect to them, they just, they just have not had the time to develop like Supercross has. And you, you basically gave up that factory ride and exposure for the 2023 season. It's kind of hard to weigh both sides. I really want to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Was it a good idea? Was it not a good idea? The 2023 Supercross season is fast approaching. And guess what? There's no seat for Roxton yet. I'm sure he's going to land somewhere. He always does. But what factory team is going to open their doors for him? Let's be honest, Ken hasn't had the best results for the last couple of years of racing. He keeps getting sick or he has, you know, unknown issues that kind of uh, restrain him from being the once dominant athlete that we all knew. It's cool to see him do this, but to me, it looks like he's a little lost right now. I'm really interested to see where he lands for Supercross. The World Supercross Championship second round is coming up soon. And I'm sure he's stoked for that, but then what's what's after that? You know, maybe it's time to hang out the boots, or what do you guys think in the comments? I think if it was me, man, geez, I, it, he shouldn't have publicly put Honda on the on the hanger like that. I don't think, and he probably could have still worked out a deal with them, saying, "Hey, look, you guys, you know, I'm gonna go do these events," but because now the seat's already filled for for factory Honda, so. What do you guys think? Was it worth walking away from the deal to do these events? Right now, I'm not sure if it was, but I'm excited to hear what you guys think. Thanks for watching the videos, guys. Stay tuned for more stuff. Make sure you hit the notification bell. I am still giving away a free dirt bike. Make sure you enter to win. That video is up on my YouTube channel. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. We'll see what happens and uh, see you next video.